Center, and I'm going to uh, broadcast show to you the, the global world, the Artramida Art Gallery, which is within this building called Montgomery Park Business Center. So I'm going to do a walkthrough, and what you're first seeing is the um, more of the west side of the halls, they have a uh, multiple hallways with the art on it. It's going to be art and photographs. And uh, I'll start showing you this. There aren't any names per se or prices on this, but uh, and I have it on portrait right now. And for the little ones, I'll remember to get close so you can see it. Now, what you can do on uh, Facebook and probably Instagram is to uh, write in Artramida, Adromeda, A R T D R O M E D A. Okay, I think you're still on, right? I think there's a call coming in. I don't see it. Okay, I'm going to keep walking here. I get back away. Some of them are bigger. Somebody comment to see if I'm on here because it says I'm blinking late right here. Oh boy. I'm going to start again. Let me start again. I think that's the best thing to do. says live, so I'm going to go on. Oh, it has a different screen. That's what's uh, caused me to, to pause. But it says it got three minutes live, so I'm just going to say that uh, that's a beautiful new application for the uh, Android mobile phone. It says that I could add guests, show live, and then end. And the reception is good. So we're at three minutes. I'll keep moving because there's a lot of art to be seen. Unfortunately, there's no names, artist names on here right now. And any prices. Although if you want to have any further questions on this art, then you can contact uh, a nice man called Rod. And he's at he's a curator art of Art Dramida, A R T D R O M E D A. And I'll just uh, get as close as possible, frame it a little bit. We have a red wall, red painted wall right now, and there are some names. Here's some names here. See, for instance, this one is by Izzy Rubin, Oil on Canvas, Forbidden Fruit. And it has some prices on it. So if you want to contact Artramida, all you have to do is go on Facebook, Instagram. We'll have Artramida. And this one was Oil on Canvas by Izzy Rubin. Our home is a eucalyptus tree. Inquire right there, it says Art Dramida, M-E-D-A. 
Baltimore at gmail.com. Okay, that's the email. And I think they have Facebook. You can put Artramita on there and uh, find it. And he also has Instagram. That's out of focus. So I'll stay about six feet away. This one's big, bigger. It's approximately Robert V.P. Davis, guitar and vase, acrylic on canvas. Prices, not the dimensions. I thought maybe I was going to tell you about the dimensions. That looks like about four feet. Three and a half feet by three and a half, almost the whole square. Okay, moving on. We'll go over here and get four beautiful paintings that I would like to buy. And it's got to be one artist. This is that. This one is called Ancient Spider, large format print on panel. 24 inches by 32 inches. Work for by Gary Edward Cuttington. And you can also see that you can contact Eduardo Rodriguez. He also goes by Rod, but I think you best say Eduardo Rodriguez at Archimeda Baltimore at Gmail. In this one. Is a large print. Oops, large print, 18 inches by 32 inches. Work by Gary Edward Cunnington. Learn about Cunnington or inquire about purchasing Ascension. Contact Eduardo Rodriguez, Archimeda Baltimore at Gmail. And I'm going to step back and get all four of them. There's some other names of those ones up there, but I'm not tall enough to read them all. But there's four by the same artist, I would gather. Those are beautiful. Now coming over here, this is probably a, a set, a three piece set by one artist. I'll get two at a time. Oh, hats. John Hoftelling. Just, just subscribe. Okay, John. Very good. I need some subscribers. I don't think I've got the lowest amount of subscribers in uh, Habs, but because they haven't been out, out of my winter cave. And it's, well, I came outside of, of uh, Big Town and I've traveled through the park to get over here and they said it's about 65 degrees and the buds grass and flowers are just about starting to sprout or blossom out okay and here's uh two right there and this and that one has to be a family member of this one these look like flowers Spring flowers, so appropriate. Now this is by A period Coates, C-O-A-T-E-S, 2020, just last year. And these are also by A Coates. This one was a 2016 creation. And this one was a 2019. But there's no other uh, titles of those right now. But it's eight coats paintings, and they're on display at the Montgomery Park Business Center with Artramita. And so I'm telling you about this, all these walls here. They've got a whole slew of walls, space, and 
This is a very big one. This has got to be um, almost four by four, four feet by four feet. And you can see that there's a uh, two, two persons in that, in the middle. And that definitely looks like a female looking up and uh, could be a romantic picture. And it's, it's from uh, Pat Dennis. What we talk about when we talk about love, oil on canvas, and it's Pat Dennis. His prices, probably negotiable at this point in time. A little bit blurry, sorry about that. Let's go back and look at that again. It's very, very nice. And this one is a mystical one. Hope my audio is is uh, pretty decent. I'm not putting a mic. I didn't attach a microphone. I'm actually going to put a uh, charger on my phone so I don't run out of a charge. And that one is by Pat Dennis again. It's uh, untitled number thirty six. Let's see. I don't know why I'm not getting my. Well, I'll read it. It's oil cloth on canvas, untitled number 36, Pat Dennis. No titling. At least, I think the images are coming out properly. But when I get close to the little uh, word, plaque, it, it's going out of sync. Look at this, it gets blurry. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's love and life. Oil, cheesecloth on canvas. Contact Artramita, Baltimore at gmail.com. Once he finds out, once Eduardo finds out I'm doing this, he shouldn't be mad. He probably will buy me a uh, refreshing adult drink for doing this. That's a pretty one. Izzy Rubin again, oil on board, plentiful pinwheels. No title on this one. Hopefully I don't have to put my mask on because my uh, audio will be a lot better. This one is uh, Izzy Rubin Winter Games with Pop, oil on canvas. Here's one with dogs on it. This one is all in all, it's just uh, dot, 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 oil on board, Izzy Rubin. Got a lot of Izzy Rubin's art right here today. It's getting blurry. Let's see, I'm going to get some charge. Maybe I'll just keep going and scan all the art. And move along here rather than than uh, talking about each of their art because there's a lot to be seen it's going to take about at least another 20 minutes to show all this art this could be another artist yes it is it's alice faber f-a-b-e-r spring by the sea and uh Santorino, Santorini, Santorini is the one on the bottom. Santorini is, is the one on the bottom. There, there was clearness. Santorini there. And this is Spring by the Sea right here. 
Ann Faber. Alice Faber, not Al, Ann. Alice Faber. This is the hunter. It's really nice. Right? Alice. I was calling her with, with the wrong first name. It's Alice Faber. And here's uh, uh, the nameplate fell off. Fell off the wall. So that's who this is. That's Alice again. She can does great work in scenic outdoor scenes. Hope you like all this art. It's nice for the eyes. This is the, and this is Alice again, Alice. Sundown on the top, the sundown. And this one is Bright Birds by Alice. Bright Birds. Sundown. Okay, moving on. I hope this camera on this phone is doing justice with the lighting. There's not a lot of light from above. Okay, more Alice. Alice has got a lot of artwork here. It's late afternoon. Acrylic on canvas. Okay. I'm inside. Nobody's told me to put my mask on as long as I keep away, keep a social distance. Somebody comment that they can see everything. There's Alice Faber, or Faber or Faber. That's good fences, acrylic on canvas. John, can you see this? Here's some water scene. More Alice. Cliff. How are you doing? Fine. There we go. It's clear. And then another bird scene. And that's, I think that's Alice too. That's a tweeter. It's called tweeter. Reader, and here's the range of prices. See, this one is that price range. Contact Dr. Mita at gmail.com. Reader. So if you can check with about Alice, Alice has got her art on the wall at Montgomery Park Business Center. Uh, I'm not sure how long. He usually keeps a whole set of artwork for about three months. It's being the end of March, so possibly April, May, June, they might have another new set of artwork. More Alice. And this is called Jazz. So if you want, you've got a place that's pretty jazzy. You can add that. It's called Jazz. All right. They showed a great extent of this. A little bit of a wall. Let's see if uh, the artwork in the of an extension artwork is on the wall. And there's no big, this is a big, they had a right here, it looks like a nice bird. The ball.
So I'm moving here. So And we're going to start getting to some more art. It's D E the R. D E the R. The R. The R. The R. The They don't have much going on right now here. There's a lot of people sitting in here. It's closer to the end of the day. It's about 4 30. Actually, it's 4 19 Eastern Daylight Time. So it's almost closing time for those who are working offices. This needs a little bit more, in my opinion. I throw out some opinions. This is scenic. It's for sale. It's available. And it says BB La Art Bird in the Creek. Mixed media on canvas. Let's get it in in line here. Okay. Step away. wide step back further we're about 10 feet 12 feet away from it so uh, anybody's guess how much that is and here's a whole set of artwork I'm uh, guessing it's by one artist There's uh, there's no t tag label on the, these, so you'll have to ask um, Eduardo Rodriguez about these. If you can buy all six of them, or two or three or more, the cost and the artist. 
So you can uh, check with Archimeda Baltimore at Gmail. And here's a permanent display. Vintage books, paintings, sports an old TV, pretty darn old vintage roller skates. This was 1948. Montgomery Ward line, among the Montgomery. The Monk Warehouse Building Store Sports Tunes Nineteen fifty eight cost thirty nine dollars and fifty cents, and you could put uh, initially four dollars. Savings too was on sale at the time thirty nine. And you can get a uh, guitar, 1957, or it's arch top guitars, proven by two for for orchestra, and this is well preserved. I don't know what else it didn't say, but this was a 1964. Oh, this pricing, this, this one, I'll take a look at it first. See that guitar? That's a, I would believe it's a electric guitar. Gotta be. And those had um, choices of four of them, colors in 1964. It's a double pickup guitars. So they cost from uh, $54.95, the yellow one, a reddish one, $74.95. Another one that's a little bit more, $97.95. And another one that's the most expensive one, went $149.95. You would have found that in 1964 on the Montgomery Award catalog. You know, buy your uh, your guitar. Okay, Montgomery Ward and Company. Okay, moving on to the artwork, we've got some uh, skulls and bones, skulls with antlers. If you like that, there's no name on this one, or size or cost, but you can. Again, contact Artramita Baltimore at gmail.com. And I think they, they should be on Facebook, Artramita, and also Instagram. I see a lot of the uh, selections of paintings. This one has guns in it. Looks like it's uh, by R. Santa Maria's. Morois. Okay, moving on. Got a re lot of reflections, so uh, I will uh, try to get the best. Ref best nope, that's the bad reflection side. There we go. This one doesn't have as much reflection. Darker. And the four of them could be by one artist. This is just a speculation on my part. 
because they are the same size, same type of genre media of art. Okay. Now we have a set here, one big and one each uh, decreasingly size. This is by A Coats again. This is uh, made in 2020. A lot of swirls in it and brush strokes. A Coats 2020. A Coats 2020. You can try to possibly negotiate, try to get back against this wall. Here's a set of three, a three, three piece. And try to get eight coats. So I'm gonna get close because we have some, um, some employees leaving the building. This is done by Frank Crowley, Swan Song One Mixed Media. Swan song. Next to uh, my guest, without looking at the little plaque, another A Crawley. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time because there's going to be another, another um, art room that's supposed to have more paintings. And I could keep it maybe within. 45 minutes or under an hour. This is Sw Swan Song One Mixed Media by Frank Crowley. Frank Crowley. Frank Crowley. And this is another Swan Song by Frank Crowley. Okay. Moving down the hall. Yeah, here's another collection. Four little ones. Those are pretty, nice and bright, cheerful. Now what we've got here is Robert Kaufman art. I knew a Bob Kaufman, Hoffman, uh, Robert Hoffman. Now top left would be Sun Descends Mixed media embroidery in 3D pen. The top right one will be oil spill. The bottom right one will be volcanic island. The bottom left one will be sun and moon. All mixed media embroidery in 3D pen. You can see some prices right there. Inquire purchasing art at Artramida. Meda, M-E-D-A, Baltimore at Gmail. Okay. So you see top left, top right, bottom right, and, and bottom left. Remember what those look like. It ma matches that up with this, which says top left, sun descends, Top right, oil spill. Bottom right, volcanic island. And bottom left, the sun and moon. And I'll stand close because there's uh, employees leaving the building. And I can't step back right now. I can step back and show you all four of them. Okay? You can contact them about that. And this looks like wood cutting. It is wood cutting. Wood cut. Let's see, turn your head uh, portrait wise or landscape wise, and that's what it looks like. And you can see the full one. It's about three, three feet long, foot and a half wide. And it's next to this one. It's part of a set. And this one is uh, 
Michael Sidrick, Joy of Life, Homage to Picasso, Wood. And here's another one, oh, another one by Michael Sedgwick. Let me get this power going here. This is homage to Picasso Wood. Very low price. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I'll keep moving because I'm at 34% power. Hope you can see it all. Back to bottom. Let's just say, okay. Alice is here again, under the sky. Lots of Alice's here. There's a lot, a lion. More Alice. If you like Alice Faber, F-A-B-E-R, she's got her collection right here. Get in contact. Here's a small little one. Looks almost like metal. But that's my, my Cedric, and that's, uh, it is a plastic and wood. Plastic and wood. Transformers meet predator. Transformers meet predator. It's dark, but it's got some indentation. See it there? Get close. Might need some more light. I don't know. And here's a large one with a frame. A little rustic, weather beaten frame. Looks like it was outdoors with glass. This is Michael S. Wiggs, Alien Frost. Acrylic blue paper on glass. Michael S. Wiggs. It's got a um, glass and wood frame. And his looks like a, is this a chipmunk or a squirrel? Dinner, dinner on canvas, acrylic on canvas by Alice. I believe this is more Alice, Alice Faber, 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 Faber. Oh, she's not mad at me if I pronounced her name wrong. But more birds, more aquatic, uh, mar maritime, sailing, acrylic on canvas. And this one is called Arctic Reflection. Bird is looking at its reflection, Arctic Reflection, Alan. And we have a nice emblem of the state of Maryland, made in wood, wood painted, Maryland flag by my, my, Michael Sidrak. You like wood, you like color, Michael's is here. Now stepping back, we have a whole series of more of what we had before, I don't know if this is permanent, it's on permanent display or not. But I'm just gonna do a quick pan across, more than 10 of them here. And I'll go back, show it to you. Looks like Cal Ripken Jr. is up there on the right side. Turtle. Morality is temporary. Wisdom. Morality is temporary. Wisdom is permanent. Always believed. Fashion. 
if you have an opportunity to use your voice, you should use it up on top. Okay, that's it. So there's a lot of uh, open area here with lighting. And uh, there's, no, there's no titling on those. But this one is a t tall, narrow ones. Two of them, very similar. There's no titling or artist name on that one. But it might be with these, I don't know. We've got uh, a bright green one, Sunny Days to Come, acrylic on canvas by Michael S. Wiggs. Michael S. Wiggs right here. So you, it could be possibly Michael S. Wiggs, but I don't know. Here's a multimedia type one here by Michael S. Wiggs. Brutality and the Dyson Sphere, acrylic on glass with fabric background. Yes, Archer Media. All right. Here we are. So we've got another um, mini art gallery that's connected to this, it's down the hall. So I hope you like it. We're at the Montgomery Park Business Center, which is on Washington Boulevard, near Carroll Park, near Pigtown, neighborhood of Baltimore, Maryland. This is very pretty, bright, cheerful, good size. Looks like it has some buildings, and looks like almost like a map and some parkway and some rivers and this is called chaos theory mixed media but bb la see it that's in focus finally chaos theory let's go back to this further away get the size of it that is almost is far as I can go back in this hallway. And then I'll step forward because we have a worker coming down the hallway. Got their mask on. They've gotten trouble with my mask. And they've got some old uh, replicas of probably Montgomery Ward's uh, um, tractors, tr tractors on, on their catalog that they've had many years ago on display. And uh, this is a permanent fixture. They have the motorcycles. Now this is coming back, but it'll be electric powered versus uh, gasoline powered like motor scooters. And they've got a whole bunch of them here. Different colors. That one's a Hawthorne. Anybody have a Hawthorne? This one doesn't have a name on it. This was a Riverside. Ward's Riverside. Got a tank for fuel. Great size wheels, muffler. It's good size, but anybody could ride one of those. Here's a tiny one. These are coming back coming back soon with a nice little soft seat. No name, it's a regular pedal bicycle. That's not electric. Here's a pedal bicycle that's not, that's got, uh, doesn't have a bar going across so anybody could get, jump on that. It's a one speeder. This is a one speeder, this is a uh, Hawthorne. Hawthorne, another one, not motorized, no fuel, no battery, but pedal. We'll get back to uh, quickly pan before my power goes out. Here's another beautiful painting that's part of um, Art Dramada, 
contact Dr. Meta Baltimore at Gmail. Eduardo Rodriguez. This one's got a nameplate on it. This one's from Jeremy. La Matan. Incredible crisis, emulsion clear film, tape on a metal silk screen. Different type of genre of artwork. Incredible crises. This is a very long one. If you got a little wide wall, I believe this is for sale. Let me go from left to right. The picture it could, it looks like more of a, a female. And there's a swirly thing with almost like a snake. There's a leg over there. There's somebody's hand, some smoke or clouds. There's a claw. And this is still continuing over to the right. There's a picture, a face. And probably were wondering, what's the name of this one? And this is Latan Savar, me, no, you, bitch. Exclamation point, exclamation, explanation, charcoal graphic. Whoops. Graphic and ink. For purchasing inquiries, please contact Gia Lee. Okay, so Gia Lee is probably the artist too, and Micah. And uh, Eduardo. Okay. La Don Savar. Me. No. Step back here and get the whole thing. You've got some wide wall space. Business, home, or wherever. You can uh, pick that one up. Now let's do a wide pan of this whole build, this whole room. Before the pandemic, this used to be uh, used, used to have a opening and a closing reception for Artemida, and this is where they would have poetry reading, the seated area, have some um, live music over there on the stage on that wall, poetry reading in the middle, and then some uh, some drinks and some food snacks and whatever, and have a nice art reception. And here's some more artwork. And there might be some photographs coming up. I think I'll just make it with this power here. The 27%. There's Domino Sugars, it says on that one. That's pretty uh, wild. It's, it's Sunny Finchem, Dreaming of Borzois, Oil on Salvage Canvas. That's Salvage Canvas right there. And nice, that's pink actually. And my camera's not picking up that, that colors. That's uh, Ahmet Ben Baraj at the end of the day, acrylic on canvas. It's on this wall. I'll step back and you can finally see uh, the whole collection again. This one has a book, has a, has a uh, cow in it, I think. The steer. That's called buoy by um, Marisol Ruiz, Acrylic on Canvas 2020. If you like that, that's by Riley Cox. To Weave a Nest, Graphic and House Paint 2020. Smaller one. 
In symmetry is Riley Cox, Mutated Daisy, Graphic and House Paint 2020. And it has a small price to it. If you're in that budget level, those are under $100. And these are probably in that range. Hopefully the reception is good. We're at the Montgomery Park Business Center. Near Picktown, near Carroll Park. In the southwest part of uh, Baltimore. In the uh, city of Baltimore, Maryland. This one is uh, Ahmed Ben Baruch, the beginning. These are all Ahmed's, Ahmed's drawings, paintings. Here's the whole two, four, five, five of them right there. And here's a big one. You gotta step back on this one. This one's huge. It's got so much going on in it. See it there? That's the full amount. And you can see the width by stepping back. See the, the couch, a three-seater? That's about how wide that is. So two, four, six. Uh, more than six, more than six feet wide, more than six feet tall. And it's got uh, a person in bed with his hands crossed on the blanket chest on the bed. And then there's a uh, image, purple image, somebody smoking over there on the left bottom, spilt drink on a uh, nightstand. Okay, what's the name of this one? You may be wondering. This is by Landon Savar. After all, they always tuck me in. After all, they always tuck me in. And that's, um, uh, I'm gonna pronounce it, flash paint, chalk, and oil pastel. It's seven by seven. There is a dimension on this one. It's, created in 2019 and you inquire about this price because it's so large it's a seven foot by seven foot chalk and oil pastel flash paint and we'll get a final look at that tuck me in after all they used to tuck me in okay moving on we can probably catch all these This is very bright. It's a wake me up. Looks like something is dripping down. This is called, but this is by Cameron. Cameron Heavener. Sandpaper titties. DIY King oil on canvas. There is a price made in 2020. Okay. Oh, hello, Michelle. I finally see your comments. Nice that you could see this. You haven't been in a gallery. Well, I'm showing you a big gallery that's underrated here in the uh, southwest part of Baltimore, Maryland. We're at uh, Montgomery Park Business Center. We're almost at the tail end of it. So see the replay. They have a lot of wall space in here available. And this is four of them right here. I used to do this all the time with my uh, mini DV camera. And then to uh, transfer it onto uh, a DVDs from the mini DV from the 
video camera over to uh, a DVD and send it to the uh, public access channel here in Baltimore. Then they changed it to um, taking it from your video camera to a thumb drive and have it in a certain type of uh, application. So we're just towards this big, huge room. Now, everybody needs to know who this is. This is by John Bohl, B-O-H-L. This one is fruits, acrylic. G-O-U-A-C-H. See, I'm not all art, so, so art inclined, I don't know how to pronounce that. Goache, Goache on canvas, 2018. And this is all by John, all four of these. This one is uh, sunset. Looks like a lot of suns on that one. But it's sunset, acrylic, gauche on canvas. What's this one? Fire by John. That's a fire one. In this one, looks like dripping water stream but that's a roll roll by john b-o-h-l you can check with arthur meta baltimore at gmail see how big this this room is even with the seven by seven and the uh, ceiling space they have a uh, statue in the middle. Take a look at that real soon. And then they have a meeting space, event space, and they have some more floor space for um, business organizations and nonprofits. So I'll get close and I'll see the whole one. This is by Leiden Savar, holding back. Lash paint, 28 inches by 20. It's like a hybrid paint between watercolor and acrylics. Thank you, because I know you're the, you're the one of our artists on HAPS TV, so you can um, add in add in what it is. But there's hardly anybody here. There's just the, the building workers, the front desk. So I knew I wouldn't be uh, pushed around too much. And I'm without my mask inside, even though I'm inside, because it's, it's so, so large of a distance. This looks like a quilt, but it's not. But it, look, at, look at that. It's, it's four columns, four rows, four by four. And that will be by the same artist, I think. Nope, it's not. It's called uh, Sunny Bitchum Collaboration with Riley Cox. Solar print quilt. It is quiltish. Solar print, canvas, and cloth, 2020. And you check to offer a price or find out prices, negotiations. And here's uh, top to bottom, two together. And so uh, back in, then starting in the 1990s, I was going to a lot of the art galleries. Still would like to once they reopen. Baltimore Museum of Art in the Wal Walters Art Gallery it's just reopened with proper regulations, probably with social distancing. This is Ahmed Ben Varouj. He is in other parts of the wall display, but he's got some here. And there's Laden Savar 
untitled. This is untitled. You can see a face right there um, on the middle left. Looks like some wave action. There's a hand up there on the top. It's untitled. Okay. And here's some clothing, small prints. There's no name. Here's some coming up. Here's some clothing with some big, big pockets, multiple colors, three colors, pantaloons with big pockets. And this is uh, Rusha Moon transparency pants. That's what Rusha, it's a Rusha. Rusha has the pants, cotton and dye. We're almost done, believe it or not. We're hitting at one hour. I figured as much. There's some more. Wesley. Wesley Bauman has this one. Wesley. It's screen printed linen stapled to canvas acrylic paint. May, uh, created in 2017. And no names up there. And here's a jazzy pair of pants. Probably great for concerts and uh, jazz festivals, art, cultural festivals, t shirt. And somebody's making some, uh, some sneakers, running shoes, a picture of a, who's doing this? Jeremy Lamontan, government cheese dunks, acrylic marker, vinyl wrap. No names on those, but there's some pretty drawings. And here's another, a third pair of pants. So if you didn't like those, and this might be your style. You even got Adidas on the bottom, Acme Studios, and then it's Arusha Moon. Shoe bag pants, uncycled shoe bags, uncycled denim shoelace. 2020, but it's sold. Can't have that. Somebody really liked that, and it's going, it's already purchased. It's still on display. But Rusha Moon has these other ones. I think that one's still available. Didn't read that it was purchased, and there's another one. Okay, just a little shout out for Rusha. There's three pair of pants, but the one on the right is sold. And that's about all they have on these on these halls. Big, huge room, big, huge columns. Part of the Montgomery Ward office and warehouse. We've got to look at this metal. This is the last one that they haven't shown. It has a name on it. And I'll go around it for a little while see the extent of it all angles and then before my battery runs out I got 19 percent so I should be good so this is at the Montgomery Park building which was the old Montgomery Ward corporate building it's on Washington Boulevard near Carroll Park Southwest Baltimore community. And let's get the name of this the shadow over it. Gia Lee Bis Biscioni. Cautious progression. Reclaim steel 2019. 
open to price offers, okay, but you can see it. And ask Gia Lee at that uh, email address, okay? Cautious progression. So hopefully you like what you see. And uh, if you got any further inquiries and talk to um, Erod Rodriguez. Erod Rodriguez, he's the curator and he is in charge of the Archer Meta. Archer Meta has their art display for about three months continuous and then they'll change all of this out and you can uh, check with them at archimeda baltimore at gmail.com and um, you can inquire about it so i'll just do a little 360 now i'll start from here 360 got 18 percent left and then I'll go on again in a little while because there's some jazz music that's supposed to have started at 4.30. Now it's already five o'clock. And there's the art. Here's the art wall and the big, huge gallery here. This is Eugene at Balt Alt Media Net, which actually means Baltimore Alternative Media Network. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Apps TV, uh, Twitter. So I'll see you all. Hopefully you liked it. You can always go back. And thank you for uh, talking, Michelle, and uh, the others, viewers. So this will be available. I'll sign off for now. Take care. Peace and love to the whole world now. Bye. Good night and good day.